Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I've been a professional family therapist for 31 years. And as part of that work and study and research, I have learned a great deal about addictions and addiction recovery. I am the son of two functional alcoholics, which is part of my motivation. Um, I want to add in this brief video, I want to add something to a prior video on addictions. Uh, before you watch this one, let me ask you to stop this video and click both of these links. I'm going to give you two links. One is about addictions and one is about stopping bad habits. They're similar, they overlap, but they will give you perspective on what I'm about to say. So stop this video, click both of those one at a time, they'll open in a new window, and then come back here. Okay, I hope you did that. Um, the question I want to pose here, or attempt to answer, is why do many, not all, why do many addicts, people who have toxic compulsive behaviors, why, against their best wishes and the urging of their friends and family, why do they pick up the addiction and do it again? I want to offer an explanation based on the videos that I hope you just watched. <clears throat> um, my proposal is that all non-organic um, addictions, meaning any addictions that doesn't, isn't powered by a, a cellular craving, all non-cellular, non-organic addictions serve one purpose. They are unconscious attempts to reduce inner pain. What I mean by inner pain is a collection of very, very unpleasant emotions, usually a mix of them. They can span things like shame, guilt, anxiety or fear or terror, despair, hopelessness, loneliness, confusion, emptiness, uh, rage, you put a mix of many of those feelings together and that can be called loosely <clears throat> inner pain. Most addicts, in my experience, acquired a great deal of inner pain because in their childhoods uh, um, they were traumatized unintentionally by the adults that raised them. Those adults themselves usually were traumatized by their childhood adults. The trauma was parental abuse, abandonment, and neglect. Those cause a great deal of chronic inner pain. Unless some blessed event causes the person to discover the inner pain and find how to manage it, she or he comes into teenhood and then young adulthood without knowing how to get rid of the shame, the guilt, the fear, the dis discouragement, um, etc. What they find, in part because of the media and social networking uh, spread of knowledge we're now experiencing, is that any of the four addictions make the inner pain go down. When they finally hit bottom or attempt a trial bottom, meaning they try to quit, Frequently, they may try a 12-step program of various sorts. There's lots of different kinds, all of whom are based on the same principles. Even if they go to 12-step meetings, a fairly high percentage of people still are unable to quit. They either quit temporarily or they can't quit at all. The reason, in my professional opinion, after 31 years of pondering and study, is the 12-step programs never knew and still don't know about the six psychological wounds that people who are addicted usually have grown from a traumatic childhood. To my knowledge, 12-step programs and the 12-step philosophy does not acknowledge these wounds as the source of inner pain. The 12-step programs also do not acknowledge 
that what drives addictions is too much inner pain and not knowing what to do about it and not knowing how to deal with outer pain, which usually comes from dysfunctional relationships, particularly dysfunctional family relationships. So, if that is true, this is not a widely known or acknowledged idea. This is my own idea. So feel free to disagree with it or research it and test it out. I believe in order to reduce or eliminate relapse from a true addiction, several things have to happen. The person who has the compulsive behavior has to hit true as opposed to pseudo or false bottom. He or she has to reach a point where he says, I can't live like this one more day. That's the first profound requisite. Many people have trial bottoms where they think they they've want to change their lives, but then they really don't. The pain is too much and they go back to reducing it by addictions. So you have to hit true bottom. The second thing you have to do is learn about personality subselves, which you can do in lesson one in my nonprofit educational website and the related videos. And you have to learn what a false self is. I'm not gonna go into that here, but I'm gonna give you a link where you can find out about it. You have to find out what the six psychological wounds are that you may have received unintentionally when you were a very young child. And then you have to learn how to reduce and manage the wounds, which I offer an experience-based idea on in lesson one in my website. You have to reduce your wounds. And the third thing of three that you have to do is learn how to recognize external sources of inner pain. Shame, guilt, fear, anxiety, despair, rage, frustration. Recognize external sources, which usually come from other people, frequently from dysfunctional family relationships. So the third thing, in order to reduce or avoid relapsing, what people have to do is be uh, willing to learn how to recognize toxic relationships and how to distance themselves from them and choose more healthy, nurturing relationships, even if it means distancing from a dysfunctional family. This is no small project, as you can tell. So, the purpose of this video has been to offer an explanation based on um, my proposal about what causes addictions. Um, this video is about how to understand the discouraging phenomenon of relapses and how to stop them. I hope you'll view the videos, I hope you did view the videos at the beginning. If not, go back and see them now. And I also encourage you um, to see all my videos particularly those in lessons one through five, they will give you enough information to break toxic unawareness and ignorance that contributes to being vulnerable to inner pain. Lessons one through five. Um, if this looks like a lot of work, it is, <clears throat> and the results are high. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me from uh, via YouTube or my website at sfhelp.org. I hope you find this thought-provoking and useful. Thanks for watching.